Well, good day, everyone. I just want to uh, go over my Lavu with you guys, just to show you some of the improvements I made. It's nothing uh, major, but boy, does it make a difference inside. Okay, so every time it would snow and rain, the canvas would get wet and start sagging. But what I did is I cut some little uh, branches and put around the skirt at all the corners. And basically, that's what you have here. You just had uh, all the corners. For the exact length, 14 inches, the skirt itself, from the top where it's sewing to the bottom is 14 inches. So that's what I cut the stakes at. I put the Y on the bottom and then just feed it underneath the lip. I did that all the way around. Makes a big difference. Now when it snows or when it rains and the canvas gets uh, soft and sloppy, it holds its shape more. Just don't forget to, uh, when you're doing your uh, pegs, the top part, make sure you can for it nice and round so it doesn't go through your canvas. But what a difference. We've been getting a lot of rain, some snow, but mostly rain the last three days. Everything's freezing up, and she never sagged. Just a small task that's going to take away a lot of headaches. Also, at the, the two seams in the front here by the door, and then in the back I have three. I put on these little clips, little alligator clips, just to pinch the seam, just to pull it out. And that opens the inside quite a bit. Again, two in the front. And I have three in the back. That's just to pull her out, tighten up the canvas, and give you a little bit more interior room. Now we'll just take a look inside. Okay, right now I don't have my stove set up. I just want to show you how much room you have and how taut the skirt is and the difference it makes when you use the tie outs to bring the sides out. It doesn't droop in. Also at the peak I put the larger of the uh, tarp uh, clips. Usually when I, when I do have my stove inside, I will remove both of these and pop it open for ventilation. But when I'm not using my stove, I make sure I keep these on just to keep it nice and tight. And that way no snow gets inside. But I also use two of them clips inside keep up the uh, the side where the uh, shoulder uh, what do you call it uh, flaps are so I got that one tied up you could still hang right here you can hang yourself a nice little uh, candle lantern and I did the same to the other side so I got this all tied out, out of the way and this all tied out of the way and then at the top, 
right at the peak where it ties off I got a little um, paracord here so I can also hang a, a candle lantern but as you can see everything's nice and tight makes a big big difference big difference lots of room now lots of room that's all folded out of the way so turned out pretty good so all I got left to do now is right here by the door is usually where I put my stove and then I put it out that uh, armhole right there but I won't do that for a couple more days it's not that cold right now and the uh, the ground itself I'm going to uh, cut up one of my uh, tarps I think this is set up pretty perfect so what I'm going to do is put a tarp in there measure it with a magic marker cut it put a couple of grommet holes in it just to stake it down and that's going to be my my removable floor just a quick gander at the lavoo a little bit of a mod just to fix it up make it uh, so it doesn't sag too easy during the weather all right thanks for uh, dropping by I know it's a short little video but I just wanted to show you them clips and the difference it makes and also taking some branches and cutting it up for your uh, your seams your corners okay guys don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell and uh, we'll talk to you another time Take care. Bye now.